Hi, today let's talk about another really common issue, neuropathy. Now neuropathy is just when there's a disturbance in the sensation I get, usually in the legs and the feet. It could be due to a lot of different sources, so you'll need to work with your healthcare provider to determine the true source for you. But luckily, there's a lot we can do to just use gentle massage at home to alleviate some of those symptoms. So let's get started and try it with me. We're gonna start by kicking off that shoe on that side. Of course, if it's both legs, then we'll swap and you'll do both. You can use your hands to walk that leg up to see if you can cross your ankle over the opposite knee. If it's too difficult for you to get up to this position, you can use a stool or an ottoman, embracing your foot right there so you're able to lean down and reach it a little easier. So let's start at the base of our foot. Using both hands, I'm wrapping my hands around my foot with my thumbs on the sole surface of my foot. I'm giving some firm but gentle pressure and squeezing the foot, starting at my toes. My hands are moving opposite of each other and I'm squeezing firmly through that foot. If you need to use your thumbs to dig a little bit deeper and get more pressure through the sole of the foot, we have some fascia and connective tissue there that can get tight. So again, we're gonna start at the toes, squeezing and working both hands opposite from each other, working our way all the way around the heel, using my hand that's closest to the heel to grip and squeeze there. I'm gonna work my way up through the calf muscles all the way up towards my knee. If we have any extra fluid in the lower leg and the foot, depending on the true source of neuropathy, there's a lot we can do to help get some of the fluid out. In this position, we're using our hands to gently stroke from my foot up towards my knee. Just one stroke after the other. You can also come on the opposite side and do both with as much pressure as you would use to stroke a cat. Just one hand after the other. And what we're doing is helping the veins get the fluid out of the leg back up to the heart. So let's do it with me. We're gonna start at the toes. We're using both hands for gripping and squeezing with as much pressure as you need for it to feel beneficial, but not so much that it's painful. If your thumbs get tired, you can use the base part of the thumb closest to your wrist and use that to put some good pressure through those tight muscles and where those muscles anchor there around the heel. I'm gonna work my way up, squeezing those calf muscles. I'm gently massaging with both hands, one hand on either side of the leg. They can move together or opposite of each other. You can experiment with both. So we're gripping and we're squeezing and we're gonna help alleviate any tightness that might be compressing a nerve. You can work your way back down if you prefer. And using both hands, we're working all the way through every toe and back up again. You can do it a few times or as many times as you need. Now to help some of the fluid get back out of our leg, back up to the heart, we're using both hands to gently stroke like you're stroking a cat. Both sides of the leg to see if we can get a little more blood flow, a little compression off that nerve. Thanks so much for trying it with me today. I hope you find it helpful. If you found this video helpful and you want more tips and tricks on everything to do with wellness, don't forget to click subscribe to get more from Hey Day Wellness. We look forward to seeing you soon.